We're interested in how people know how hard to bite and how they stop themselves from biting too hard. Of course, we eat lots of different types of food and food can be very complicated. And we're aware that people have a special ligament between their teeth and their tooth sockets, which judges how much force is being applied to food items. So food like these sweets can illustrate that very well because they've got a hard outer shell but a soft inside. So as Susan's biting down on the sweet, there's signals going from her teeth, and in particular the ligament between the teeth and her tooth sockets, telling her how hard she can bite without breaking her teeth. But there are animals that don't have any of this ligament, so we've investigated one of these animals to see how they're controlling their bite force. So the animal we chose to study is the tuatara. This is a skull of a tuatara. If we look along the upper jaw, we can see the tooth row. And the tooth are fused to the bone, so there's no obvious boundary between the teeth and the bone. There are no sockets and there's no ligament. So this animal must be using other receptors in the skull in order to judge how hard it needs to bite. We place the specimen material in a high-resolution micro CT scanner. This takes a lot of very detailed x-rays. We then upload these x-rays into a computer and use the computer to build the model. So once we have our computer model with the representation of muscles, we can make the jaws move. By allowing the jaws to move, we can see the different roles each of the muscle groups is performing, whether it be opening the jaws, closing the jaws, or shearing the jaws forward. To Tuatara lack the periodontal ligament that we have and that we use to gauge how hard to bite. But from the model we can tell that there's another system operating, perhaps receptors in the jaw joint. Some humans have dental implants, which as you can see from this model, are screwed into the jawbone, and therefore they also lack periodontal ligament just like the Tuatara. This gives us an analogous situation 